I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 226. Today we're going to be stitching using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll begin by using a rotary type ruler and a blue mark figure begone marker to mark out my design. Now I mentioned this in the last video. I'm going to show you a little bit more of my marking throughout the next several blocks. I thought it would be fun to share that with you guys. See exactly how I do it. Now you will notice here that my machine is actually on my block. That's so that you guys can see where I'm doing my markings. However, on an actual quilt, I'm not going to have my So after I've done all that marking, marked out the nine patch, this design can be stitched out multiple ways. If you're following along and saw yesterday's video, you'll see it was very similar. I just went a little bit different direction. So starting on the left-hand side of the block, I'll stitch that first angular line down through the marked intersection and across to the opposite mark point on the bottom of the block. When I get there, I'll adjust my ruler, stitching an angular line or a straight line along the ditch over to the opposite marked point where I'll repeat that process stitching another angular line. I'll repeat this process on all four sides of the block until I've stitched out the foundation completely. Once I've done that, now I'm going adding those fun arrows into this design to really add quite a bit of extra interest. So you'll see here as I'm stitching this out, I'm just stitching point to point once I've stitched the first point to point arrow, then I'll adjust, move on, and work on the next one. So you can see here that I'm stitching out the point to point arrows, but also my straight lines as I go, kind of working back and forth, trying my best to eliminate stitching over lines, but obviously there's some points where I do stitch over the line more than once. Because I so often quilt with really fine thread, this isn't something that I'm concerned about. And obviously most often I'm using matching thread. Another thing to point out when I'm stitching out these point to point arrows, I am completely eyeballing where my center point goes on these arrows. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit wonky, but I'm okay with it. Overall, they're going to look really great. You could go through and mark out the design on each of those if you wanted to have it be a little bit more precise. Once you've stitched out that design completely, you can finish it off by stitching the ditch all the way around the outside of the block and spritzing away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.